Good morning. Today, it's house leaks, black fly, and at last, a bud on my scented uranium. These, these are my house leaks, you probably know them. House leaks, this is the cobweb house leak, because it has like a little, yeah, it's literally a cobweb in the middle. There's like a little spider's gone over. I have had huge success with these. Um, I can't wait till I film from home because then I can show you what I've done. Um, mine are actually flowering again for the second year, not these, the ones at home. They literally have a tall shoot and a big pink flower on the top, um, which you will see in, in upcoming episodes. Um, but I bought these here because there's none here. I've had success with these primarily, I believe, because I've brought the right soil. It's um, a succulent cactus soil. And that's what these are. So a version of you know a cactus, they're succulent. So I brought the correct soil for them, and they have literally exploded. I actually bought one. Well, I actually didn't buy it. Secret. I actually found it on the floor uh, of a garden centre, and I picked it up. Um, and I kept that. And basically, from that, I have literally got sixty-seven babies, um, and they're all doing really well. So. Yeah, excellent. By the way, I didn't just pinch it, I did actually buy some plants as well, so... Yeah, let's go and sort these out. I've got quite a few of these growing, so what I've decided to do is... do something with this. So, what I've already started is planting some here. So basically, I'm going to have like a river, so it going... doot, doot, to here. Letting them spread. I'm using the proper soil, by the way, I'll show you that in a moment. But I've done these two. I'm gonna have this final one. So I've dug a little hole into all the gravel and the soil. As you can see, it's quite sandy now. Don't think anything's ever been in here. I've taken these out the pot they're in. I've actually split them apart, which you can. And the soil I'm using is like a cactus. It's definitely a, it's a cactus, bonsai, and succulent composition. And as I'm gonna do now, so, and because it's going in gravel, you, mu you must plant the plants higher than the actual soil so that the gravel will go around them. The amount of times I've actually had to put the plants out, pull the plants out, and repot plant them again because I didn't do them at the right level. So, you'd think that was a proper level, wouldn't you? But I'm literally going to put a bit more in, make it higher. like so. And this is my riverbed of cobweb house leeks, which I shall water and leave to grow on. What are you doing on my new bed that the rain has demolished? Are you weeding? Or are you making sure the plants are all healthy? Hmm. And a further little surprise today, looks like, for the first time, right in there, there he is, we've got a flower on the scented geranium that we got from Greece, where we took cuttings from Greece. And this is not the actual parent plant, this is um, the tops cut off, repotted, planted, and it looks like the child is going to flower before the adult, before the parent. Now, if you go back to episode three, you'll remember Ermintrude the cow I planted up. Unfortunately, for the first time this year, black fly has got on. So, not being at home, I haven't got any treatment for him. But basically, what I'm going to do at the moment is take off all the stems that have got black fly on. Which is quite therapeutic. I'm trying to find one that is a good example. There, so if you look, I don't know if you can see that on here, but it's covered in black fly. So I'm gonna cut them all off. You can use a very mild um, washing up liquid and water, but only mild, and that's like a deterrent. 
but obviously you need to go to a spray, organic or otherwise, to try and get rid of them. Um, on that note, Yvonne has had an issue with her lilies, with the dreaded lily beetle. So Yvonne, I hope what I said works, I hope you're able to get some stuff to treat them. But yeah, lily beetles devastate lilies. They leave a muddy, squidgy mess underneath the leaves that are actually the grubs. They will just devour your lilies. It's called lily beetle. The adults are bright orange. They're actually much like this. Bright orange like that. And a beetle. Very attractive. But literally, dispose of them as you see fit. I think that's what Monty Don says. As you see fit. Because they are awful. Luckily, we've not had them here. Back at home, we have them. But we usually go on the hunt for them. Um, <laughs> like predator and prey. Um, but I'll just finish doing this. Yeah. So, on Friday, it's all about, well, a little bit, it's about squirrels. Because this time, it's war. <laughs> 